Good afternoon, brethren. Good afternoon. I just want to take this chance to thank God for this speech. We are standing in front of you to preach uh, <coughs> His word, or to share His word in this afternoon. Before we go on, I just want to have a word. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your care. We thank you for your provision, your care towards us as we come together as brothers. We look unto your word as we study for this week. Heavenly Father, I pray that you can stay up with us. As we're ready to look unto your word now, I pray that you can be with us. And Holy Spirit can teach us more with the word that we get to see now. I pray that you can be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We look on Numbers chapter 14. <coughs> Numbers 14 and 18. The subject here is long suffering. Where God has his long suffering when, when he was with the children of Israel in the wilderness. Where the uh, text here is all about when God was with Israel, with his long suffering, the children of Israel in the wilderness. Um, and we also have to see all this chapter in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23 I just want I just pick one of the uh, one of the fruit of the spirit we mentioned on long suffering and I think it's a good thing for us leaders of the church to see uh, what really made it here uh, how God wanted us to know this uh, this fruit uh, of being having the the, uh, the long suffering uh, as we look on 18, it says, The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the, uh, the guilty visitation and iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto, unto the third and the fourth generation. That was the long-suffering of God towards the children of Israel when they were in the wilderness. But as I see on the, in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, it's also mentioned uh, the, one of the fruits of the Spirit is long-suffering. Um, joy, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, faith, and meekness, and temperance. Well, I just <clears throat> want to have this, uh, this text to give to us church leaders that we need to have this fruit, the fruit of, of long-suffering. And it, as we know that long-suffering is enduring pain, uh, facing, uh, uh, facing and receiving provocation or forbearing or being patient. So leaders, we need to have this, this fruit, mass of this fruit. Um, as we go along with our uh, leadership and our service in our churches, when we serve, we need to have very much stress onto this, uh, this fruit of long suffering. Um, I put it here um, that we have some characters. As we leaders, we have some um, long fuse uh, leaders. We have some short fuse leaders. Uh, sometimes we blow up so easily. Sometimes we take things, you know, in a very passive way, uh, forbearing. Um, it's for me myself. It's quite really hard. Uh, it's quite really hard for me to have uh, this fruit. And I was praying for it, and I was praying for it, and I finally start to make myself be humble for the work of the Holy Spirit to give me. Uh, uh, the life of being uh, a leader, uh, of being humble. So, as I always see that we leaders, we need to have this fruit, much of this fruit. We have other fruit, the fruit of the spirit, but I just only want to stress this on long suffering. Um, as we look onto this, as we know that um, short fuse people, they usually blown up. Very uh, get angry, get angry easily, uh, upsets easily. Uh, as we need to have, we need leaders. We need to have uh, the endurance or forbearance. Uh, we need to have uh, the long suffering in our leadership. Um, <clears throat> we look at Ephesians chapter four, verse one to two. So we see this last text and we finish. Uh, Ephesians chapter four and one to uh, three.
pieces of the floor. Um, church, in our churches that we serve, it's all about God's love. Um, as we know, with all lowliness and meekness and long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Uh, God is love, as we know. Um, in love, God is love. As God says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 19, as many as, us, as, many as I love, I rebuke, reprove, and chasten, uh, be jealous, um, therefore, and repent. So God wants us to have this fruit, very much of this fruit as we leaders, leaders of the church. We need to have that mind, to have long suffering. It's one of the, uh, the fruit of the spirit what we see in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. As I put it here, it's a very important thing for us leaders to very much stress on long suffering. And we have to have the forbearance, we have to endure, we have to bear with the things that God wants us to do in our churches of we serve. So this is the word of God for us today, this afternoon. Uh, may God uh, bless his uh, thought for you and I in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we, Father, we thank you for that word. We thank you that you have given us uh, this word that we understand. That we live long suffering as we lead us of the church. Can we, Father, I pray that you can give us the lowliness, humbleness, that we can lead in our church the way uh, the flock and the people might uh, easily receive us as we lead us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your care. We thank you for all the things that you have provided for us. I pray that you can step with us for the rest of this uh, season. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen.